Let us listen to this video. We are okay. We are so many of our people were killed. Uh, so many of our people were killed. Is in a, uh, a Yes, he has moved in Enugu. Enugu state. The people and the henchmen attack many of our people and kill them. So as you can see, kill them the for no reason. For no reason. According to information we gathered so far, so many of our people were killed because of conquest. Yes. In this bridge, even around uh, this uh, this river. So many of them were killed and they are, okay. they are recovered around these houses. So All right. As you can see, no one is around okay. here. This yes. Is, uh, you how serious it is in this community after the planning mm -hmm. after invaded this we can see. and killed so many of our people for no just cause. In order to take over so many. land, in for no just cause. Rise, in order to conquer them. Okay. So, Okay. Today is 25th December 2022. And the road is empty. February 25th December in Igbo land. Uh, people yes. come back for the season in order to visit their village and stay in a few, in a few days before going back from where they base. But this time around? So far, we have not seen anybody around this country. Yes. This is the situation. It's a pity. Thank you very much. This is Sumo Chukurai that's reporting to you live. And we go Thank you very much. Comments. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great people are wonderful people of Biafra. As we just finish watching this video, I hope you people can see it by yourself. How ghost town that area is. Now our land is a ghost, villages and communities because our people are running for their life and Fulani that are coming from Senegambia, Chad, Niger, Mali, Sahel, trooping into our land, killing and maiming, destruction of our properties and none of our representatives have said anything they are all mute now there's something i want to tell our people as you are watching this my broadcast and um, this my short video now i want to also pay attention to the photo that i have next to my video right now the photo of the governor of enugu state in the person of Uguani, and those that fallen killed those that fallen massacred another genocide in our land and the question is this why all these our representatives are not speaking i keep on saying this to our people you know that's why i'm showing our people this evidence because i don't want to come out here begin to say things from my mind so that people will not think that i'm coming here to fabricate lies or concord story I always bring authentic information to our people so that our people will see and begin to believe. Now you understand. And sometimes I keep on asking myself this question. Who did we offend? Who did we offend that our representatives cannot stand on the ground and begin to defend themselves or defend their own people? That's something I always tell my people. But let me introduce myself before I will go further. All right, wonderful people, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom and great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano. Here, here, we set the record straight. My name is Mazo Oken Naokechukun, known as the Biafran Child Wachineke. The general now pay attention and listen very careful i have told my people time with that number about the movement of jihadism and i will keep on repeating this without stopping till he enters 
the minds of our people and they will begin to understand the mission and vision of Fulani people in our land. The movement of jihadism, the conquest called holy war, and they are coming with ethnic cleansing. Kill, maim, take over your land, take over your territory. As they are killing, they are occupying. I hope you are getting my point. Because the most important is for you to get my point and understand what I'm saying. These people are coming with flanization and Islamization of our own people. A few people haven't forgotten. They said that they will sink Quran into Atlantic Ocean. And that is exactly what they are doing today. They have planned this thing for years. But there is something wrong with our own people. Our people cannot even plan for a, just a long term. And I keep on saying this. As you are seeing the picture of Uguan and those of our people that fully massacred, up to date, none, none of them, none of the governor are speaking about the killings in Enugu State. None of the representatives are talking, are speaking about the massacre of our people in their own ancestral land. None of them have said any single word. We have to tag international communities. We have to tag BBC. We have to tag CNN. We have to tag the European Parliament. We are tagging them on this. White House, we are tagging them. We are not telling them to come and help us to fight for this battle. But we are telling them so that they will know what is going on today in Biafra land. They have been killing us since 1945. And they keep on killing us up to date. And the worst part of it is that those people that are governing us, they are all mute. These people cannot stand on their own. These people are, they are, they are nobody. They don't have boss and gods to stand and defend their own people. I keep on telling my people this. These our governor's representatives, these people are slaves. They are slaves. They are big slaves to Fulani hegemony in our land. And I will keep on lamenting. And I will not stop telling our people to buckle their belt and embark on this journey of Biafran Restoration Project. Forget about your governors. Forget about your representatives. Forget about your red caps. Forget about your Igwe and the Forget about these people. We are Oha. We are Oha. We are Oha. Majority carries the vote. Let us stand and defend ourselves. If you are waiting for your governor to come and provide security, believe you me, you will wait till thy kingdom come. If you are waiting for your governors, your representatives, your red caps, your Andi Ben Andi Shia, your Andi Ohanese, your governors, to provide security for you, you will wait thy, till thy kingdom come. They can never come for your age. They will never come. Because these people, they are under siege. All your representatives from beginning to the end, they are under siege. They don't have balls. They don't have gods to stand on their own. They have they have sold their soul to devil, to Fulani, to be able to occupy that position. And they will keep on controlling them like remote. You know, when you use remote to, to own your own television, this is exactly how they are controlling these people. Ugwani is there saying nothing. But they are tackling the people, the Eastern Security Network that Mazen Namigan set up to defend and protect our people against Fulani terrorists in our land. The same representatives are coming against it. Today they are killing. 
but they did not today they are killing our people and they never provide any security anything to you know to to help their own people against the fallen that are coming to kill them now you understand now you understand why Mazin Namdekano have to be free now you understand why we have to join hand together so that Mazin Namdekano will come out from TSS dungeon we all know that the competent court of Nigeria, appeal court, have discharged him. And none of us are writing petition for him to come out. At the same time, they are killing our people. And those people that you hope on them are not doing anything. Now, are you using your science? I know some of our people, because of hunger and poverty, our people don't even know they are left from their right. And that is why I will keep on saying things that I'm saying without stopping. Trying to open our people's eyes to understand the root of their problem. All these governors, all these your representatives, all these your Nibel and this your Hanese, all of them are your problem. They are those that sold us out to Fulanese. For Fulanese to use us, do whatever they want. But we have come to stay and we must stay in our land. We are not going to run away from our ancestral land because we are the indigenous people and the owners of the land Biafra. We can never run away from terrorists. Great people, let us reason and understand. This is what I have for you people today. Good day. I share the